Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Living MN Outdoors. Today we're out at the Pit Boss Pellet Grill. Uh, we're gonna be smoking up some Canada Goose that we shot this weekend, and uh, we'll show you how we do it. So guys, we got our goose breasts here. Uh, we got five of them here. Uh, we marinated three of them in cherry coke and two of them in teriyaki sauce. Uh, we let them marinate overnight and then we simply put some uh, pit boss spices on them. Uh, we use the chicken and herb seasoning. Uh, and we're gonna put them on the grill here at 225 degrees. Uh, let the temp increase to probably about 120. Uh, then we'll crank them up and finish them around 145 internal temp. Let's get started on the bacon wrapped goose. All right guys, well we're back in the kitchen. We're gonna do some bacon wrapped goose. Gotta have some bacon for that. Gotta have some toothpicks. And we're gonna cube up our goose. Uh, I usually like to cut it into about an inch and a half uh, long pieces and maybe three, quarter of, three quarters of an inch wide uh, and then wrap it with some bacon. So we'll get started. Simply cut it like that, cut it into some chunks, just big enough to get a piece of bacon around. Do a couple more. All right, well, we'll get this cut up and then we'll get back to you when we're wrapping it in bacon. So guys, we got our goose all cut up into chunks. We're gonna take our bacon. Uh, I recommend uh, either standard cut or thin cut bacon. Um, and we are going to simply just cut it in half. Like that. Stack her up there. Take a piece of bacon here. Lay it out. Grab a chunk of goose. Put it in the bacon and simply just roll it up. Once you got it rolled up, take a toothpick straight through. Just like that. Show you one more time here. Piece of bacon, lay it out. Piece of goose, lay it in and simply roll it up. Toothpick, straight through. We'll repeat that process probably 40 more times and uh, when we're done, we'll get back to you and we'll get this on the grill. Well guys, we got all the goose wrapped in bacon. Um, we got them in a bowl here. Uh, we picked up these handy little webbed wire trays uh, to go on the grill. Uh, really helpful when you're putting small pieces of meat like this on the grill. Uh, keeps them from falling through. So we'll head out to the grill and we'll see you there. Well guys, we've made it back out to the grill here. We're going to open her up, get the tray on, and throw the goose on. We got the grill loaded up, we'll shut her down and we'll let this cook. Um, 
Meanwhile, we'll probably end up flipping the goose breast. We'll get a probe in there so we can monitor the internal temp and uh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, well, we're back out at the grill. Um, right now, the goose is at an internal temperature of about 130, 131. Um, so we're gonna give them a flip quick uh, and we're gonna finish them around 145 degrees. So if you wanna take a look here, got the probe set, that's the internal temperature there. And then the big temp here, that is the grill temp currently. So we're gonna give them a flip and we'll give you a look. Who needs tongs when you got fingers, huh? Ooh, looking gorgeous. Alright. Close the lid. We'll let him go a little longer. We'll probably crank up the heat now uh, just to get them up to temp. Uh, like I said, we want to finish them at about 145 degrees. Uh, and we're getting close. So we'll crank the heat up to about 350 and uh, they should be done shortly. Well, we've reached an internal temp of 145. We're gonna pull the goose breasts off and uh, let them rest for a few minutes and then we're gonna try them. goose breast let's take it inside let's let it rest and then we'll cut it up and dig in so we're gonna flip these uh, bacon wrap goose uh, while we're letting the actual goose breast rest um, you can hear it sizzling smells delicious can't wait to try them but we'll flip them and we'll show you when we do it So we let our goose breast rest for about five minutes. Uh, we're gonna take one, we're gonna slice it up, and we're gonna give it a try. Ready? Yes. You ready? All right guys, we're gonna give it a try here. Smoked goose breast, just harvested yesterday on the new pellet yeah, grill. That is delicious. Let's get some other people to try it. Oh yeah. Oh, that is wonderful. See, I actually eat my birds. This is, this is good stuff. Oh, it turned out wonderful. <laughs> Alrighty, well we're back out at the grill. Uh, it started to rain a little bit, but no problem with that. We're gonna take our bacon wrap goose off now. Uh, we'll give that a try. Let's head inside, let's try them out. Well, guys, we're back in the kitchen with the bacon wrap goose. Uh, it's time to give it a try. Oh man, this, this stuff looks amazing. One, one thing I should say too guys, when eating waterfowl, be careful when you chew. There could always be BBs. And one obvious thing, take the toothpick out. Ooh, that is some 
That's Give where it's goose. at. Mm -hmm. My want one. Ooh. Mm -hmm. My want one. Yeah, so if you guys haven't already, go over and check out our video of us shooting these. Um, yeah, the potential's there. This doesn't even really taste gamey at all, would you say? Not at all. You, if you told me that was goose, I would not believe you. Yeah, I would have thought it was like roast beef or something. It tastes so good. Yeah. So. Alrighty, guys. Well, that'll do it for this time. If you're not already doing so, get out there, get living. Really important, guys. You shoot them in the head. <laughs> Everybody knows that. <laughs>